Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. These are going to be Venusian love messages for my dearest Libras. Libra, on April 14th, we have some good news. Venus returns uh, to her home sign of Taurus. So the planet of love um, is uh, giving us a new cycle, a restart. And this is the beginning of a new yearly cycle for love and its ruling planet. So we're going to treat this as we would any new moon. In essence, set our intentions for the coming year and celebrate this new beginning. Um, but remember, if there's skepticism or disappointment, um, when you're thinking about or you're writing out your goals and intentions, it's important that we have to clear these negative these negative energies or thoughts um, or this programming or otherwise it'll block your dreams from fruition, okay, from coming to fruition. So Libras, as I'm doing this reading, I'm going to ask that you like this video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment if you feel called to do so, ring that notification bell, and check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading. Or if you like the cards that I'm using, I have them listed in LinkedIn order of appearance. So Libras, let's go ahead and jump into this. First, I'm going to pull some Oracle cards um, and then we're going to go into the reading. All right, so let's see what's going on here. My dearest Libras. <clears throat> Libra, you guys are also ruled by Venus, so this should be a very beautiful, warm sort of homecoming. So Summoning power, beautiful. So instinct, intellect, and control. So Libra, I feel like you guys are absolutely in balance here, um, that you're calling on all your power despite your situation. If you guys are in separation, um, or if you guys are single, or if you're in a connection, you're really, really achieving this beautiful balance when it comes to love. I feel like also you're balancing the masculine and the feminine. For me, number four is the number of the emperor. So it's about really this yang energy, like you're really stepping up here. Libra. I love that. All right. Your person is coming out as um, decisive focus, sacred action. So I do feel like you guys, um, you and this person are very, very focused on each other. So it may be that, you know, you're calling in a twin flame or a soulmate here, whether you know them or not. Um, and it may also be that I feel like this person is very focused on you, Libra, but you're sort of holding back. You're not rushing things because you've learned some lessons here and you want to do things right. You want to take things step by step. You don't want to repeat any of your past mistakes. All right. And we get sacred gratitude, reverent appreciation and prayer. So what I'm seeing here, look at that. She's touching that tree. I love this sort of fairy type energy for you, Libra. So I do feel like, um, I feel like, you know, both of you are sort of like thanking your lucky stars that you've met, but I also feel like you're in this energy of, okay, I don't want to mess this up. So you're really holding back. You're, you're using all of your power. You're trying to, you know, balance your emotions, your thoughts, your feelings here. Um, and, and I feel like this person is absolutely laser focused on you. They might even be chasing you, Libra is what I'm getting. Or if you sort of see this person like at work or at school or out and about in the community, like you, this person, I, th I think they, they stare at you, but not in a creepy stalker way. Um, but almost, you know, it makes you a little bit uncomfortable and, and you're just trying to like, you don't want to rush things. You want to take things slow. Um, but there's something, there's actually some other forces at work here. Libra is what I'm getting. Okay. Um, I feel like, I feel like this person is very, very focused on you. Um, and it's almost like, you know, if they've said this to you, or maybe you've said this to them, again, feel free to swap the energies I'm picking up on. But like, I'm so happy I found you. Like, I've looked all over for you. I've been looking for you. I feel like that's, uh, or maybe you, you, you had that in a dream or something like that. Effort plus intention. So you're definitely achieving something. Many of my Libras, you may have been single for quite some time, or, you know, you've really been working on yourselves. Um, you're, you're seeing a major success when it comes to love here. All right. So I feel like you guys are quite a good match, but I feel like some of you, you might be dealing with a fire sign. Um, but you know what, Libra, you guys are balanced. You guys are solid. You guys are not going to rush this. Um, even though sometimes you might feel this person to be a little bit intimidating, I feel like you can also match their energy. I also feel like spirit and the spirit world 
are kind of like, oh my gosh, finally they met each other <laughs> or they're on their, you know, they're on their way to one another. So Libra, high priestess energy, the telepathic connection between you guys is off the charts. Many of you guys, you don't know who this person is yet though. Okay. Maybe you've just seen them around. Um, they've definitely seen you if that's the case, or this is all happening, you know, sort of in the quantum field. Like this is you manifesting this love. So spirit saying there's a lot of stuff going on in the background, even if you're just sitting here working on yourself, doing your thing, you know, um, you know, controlling, you know, I feel like you're just sort of like you're doing your routine, you're focusing on your body, on your health, on your spirituality. Some of you are dealing with a Virgo or maybe even a Pisces. But what I love about this is your telepathic connection is off the charts. Um, many of you are working with law of attraction and you're going to see your dreams come to fruition. Again, you're noticing anything negative that's rearing its ugly head and you're, you're absolutely with laser focus, you're getting rid of it. Because Libra, you're open for love. You're ready for love. Okay, in your surroundings, we have the star card. So Aquarius energy. So some of you guys, I feel like this is going to be very unexpected when you meet this person or when you did meet this person. Absolutely, some of my Libras out there, you dreamt about this person or you will dream about this person and they're gonna show up for you and you're not gonna be able to believe it. You, it's like you're gonna dream about like, I don't know, like a coffee cup and then you're gonna see this person holding that coffee cup or you're gonna dream about like a jacket and they're wearing this jacket, whatever it is. There's something here that's gonna come as like a huge shock and surprise, but your intuition you're going to feel like is not off. Spirit is telling you there may be some issues here that you're going through, again, some negativities when it comes to love that I see you, you know, either, either eradicating these or blocking these out. Um, you're in the process of doing that. Okay. Libra. So the star card, um, it could also be that this person is in your energy, but you, you can't quite see them yet in your 3d spirit saying to have hope. Don't give up hope here. Um, for some of you, you know, there, this could be a past person that's trying to manifest you. They're very focused on you. Um, they may have given up hope that you would ever come back to them, Libra or vice versa okay but spirit saying don't don't give up hope you know stay focused effort plus intention you know we can't just set intentions we do have to meet spirit halfway right so if you're calling in this love but you're not leaving your house um, it's important to to do that. I do also feel some of you um, just be careful if you guys are watching too many readings or if you're sort of you're getting really addicted to just sort of meditating and, and spirituality, which is beautiful. But remember, we do need a healthy balance. I'm just for some of us, someone out there needs to hear that. Okay, so I do feel like it's important that you get outside, you do some grounding, spend time with friends and family, um, you know, walk the dog, do whatever. If you feel like you've been, you know, doing a lot of shadow work, doing a lot of heavy spiritual lifting, okay, which is good, all well and good and beautiful, but spirit is saying the importance of balance. Um, Queen of Swords energy, yeah. So this, this is, I feel like this energy, Libra, is your energy. Um, this is a need to make sure that you cut cords. And I feel like you guys are doing that work. But I feel like, you know, you guys are, you guys are in this sort of balanced energy. You're really controlling your emotions, um, your feelings, your thoughts. But at the same time, there may still be something from your past, whether this is a past person that that's manifesting you or vice versa, or there's somebody from your past that really hurt you. Um, because I do feel like, you know, somebody here has given up hope because of some sort of disempowering narrative. Um, I feel like many of you guys, if this is you, this is going to be healed and clear. Okay, Libra, it absolutely will be. You're on the right path. You're doing the right thing. You do have to be patient, okay, because the high priestess is telling me there's, you know, there's, there's secrets. You don't see necessarily the way forward. And with the, with the star card, sometimes it's hard for us to trust in something where we don't have empirical evidence or we can't quite see our way forward, but you're really being asked to trust the divine. Okay. Being, you know, being, being asked to trust that this love is coming to you, that you are manifesting this regardless of what you've been through. But it is really important that you raise your energy, you raise your vibration, um, and you recognize anything that's negative that's a part of your story um, as part of your story, but you detach and you move forward from it, okay? So it's beautiful energy there, um, Libra, because it's there's a lot happening behind the scenes. That's what I'm getting. Um, I also feel like, you know, that you could, you could feel like this person, if you know 
this person. They may have a lot of secrets um, and you're like intuitively trying to figure out what's going on. Um, and what I'm seeing here is that, you know, just be careful of overthinking with the queen of the queen of swords. Um, somebody here may have also told you something that wasn't quite true about this person or about themselves. Okay. So again, tap into your intuition, give yourself some time and space. Um, the answers will come to you. Okay. Or will be revealed. So we get the queen of pentacles. So what I'm seeing here, Libra, um, is that you are, you know, you're ready for love. Um, you're ready for partnership. You're ready to build something stable. Um, you are ready to also, I feel like, to, you want to do things right. You want to take things slow because you're ready to sort of allow somebody into your world. Um, many of you guys are doing a lot of energy healing. Look at this beautiful sort of um, position she's in. So some of you guys might be rachis or you might be doing acupuncture. Um, or you might be seeing energy healers. I love this. I absolutely love this energy um, because she's she's ready. She's fertile. She's building something strong. Um, she wants to do things right. And I keep getting that from your, your initial sort of oracle cards. The Eight of Wands. Many of you guys are working with the Law of Attraction. Some of you guys might be a little bit wondering if, if this stuff really works. Again, because you might not be seeing the results in the 3D, but Spirit's saying there's a lot going on. There's a lot being arranged, rearranged, moving around in the background that you can't quite see. It's kind of like, you know, during winter time or around the time of, you know, right before spring where the ground is still really frozen you can't see those seeds yet that are germinating but you know they boom they pop up out of nowhere but it's not that they popped up popped up out of nowhere they were hidden from you for quite some time so I do feel like your prayers are being answered um, you guys may have already received communication from this person again I do feel like for some of you you know this person is like watching you they sort of you know watch you at work or, in, or within the community they hold your gaze a little bit too long Okay. Um, but yeah, five of pentacles here. I do feel like, you know, Libra, there's an important, there's sort of an important message coming through with this five of pentacles and summoning the power and control. Don't hold yourself in such high regard, the high priestess, right? She can, she's sort of giving off this celibate energy because I do feel like this person, they, they're the one who's like watching you. You know that they have feelings for you or they're the ones trying to manifest you. You can feel this, but what spirit is saying is don't hold yourselves in such high regard that you're unattainable. Okay. Or that, you know, that you, if you're, if you're too controlling and you hold back too much or your defenses are too high, um, you know, this person may feel like that they don't have a chance with you and okay and that could lead to an element of them feeling left out or rejected maybe you guys have rejected this person um you know one or two times already okay so spirit saying to really tap into your intuition here um and see is this something that you really truly want because i do feel like may, this person might have already made some moves or asked for your number or maybe this is somebody that kind of asks you out a couple of times um, and it really might be your person, okay? But the high priestess, again, she's sort of in this, I hold myself in very high regard, almost untouchable energy. So just watch out for that because I feel like you are ready for commitment. You're ready for stability. Um, you're ready to be nurtured and loved and to do the same. But just make sure that's what you're projecting on the outside as well. Emperor energy. Yeah, so for many of you guys, you're calling in your divine masculine. This is your divine masculine. You could have an Aries Leo Sag energy. This person is manifesting you, Libra. Um, you might be the one who's putting up resistance, like I said, or might seem a little bit too attainable, but I feel like this person is not going to um, give up very easily. Four of Wands. Um, this person has been holding out for you, Libra. Okay. They may have looked like they were dating other people or, you know, maybe even they said they were, um, but they are absolutely holding out for you. Some of them, they have left a connection, um, because they want to be with you. Um, the wheel of fortune, this is fate. This is destiny. I'm almost getting Libra. Like you can't, obviously you have free will and the power is yours, but I feel like this person and that emperor energy, they're not going to stop till they get what they want. And what they want is Libra. Okay, and the Knave of Wands, this person may have come in before, um, and you may have thought they were kind of a player. They may have come in, they might have had one foot in, one foot out. Okay, and again, you might have rejected them, you might have joked around with them even about like, yeah, right, okay, whatever, and you didn't quite trust them. Again, um, I feel like this is your person, I feel like they are not going to stop until they get what they want. Okay, for some of them, you may see them as a player, and so you might be, you know, you might be rejecting them, but Spirit's saying to take another look, okay, to take 
another look um, because this they see you as somebody that they do really, really want to build with, okay? I'm seeing two fours coming out, so I see, I feel the perseverance here of this person, Libra. Um, so just make sure that, you know, you're not making any unnecessary sacrifices or you're holding yourself in such high regard that you're seeming unattainable because I do feel like you're ready, you're open for love, okay? Yeah, three of swords. So for some of you guys, you're you're definitely healing. This could be a past person. They may be coming in to express some regret if they didn't tell you how they really truly felt. I mean, I have to say that maybe there was a third party energy with this Knight of Wands. They might have also watched you move on with somebody else or maybe you just got out of a rela relationship with a player they're going to talk to you about that. Okay. They're going to say, yeah, who was that clown or who was that, you know, that player, that play at, I was watching that. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. The magician in the mirror, because they're coming in, they want to offer you stability, something long-term. They may even want to start a family, depending on where you are in, in your lives. Right. But they're they're This emperor is absolutely coming towards you. Um, this is also, you know, I feel like you're prepared for it. Okay. But I just keep getting this message. Don't hold yourselves in such high regard that you seem unattainable. This person will work for you, but, um, up to a point. Okay. So magician in the mirror. So again, manifestation with that eight of wands, you are manifesting this person, whether you know it or not, you're manifesting love for some of you. Again, you may not even realize how ready you are. Okay. You might still be sort of healing or think you need some more need some more time but spirit is saying you are ready for this okay don't unnecessarily keep yourself out in the cold or isolated all right community so this person may already be in your community um, maybe somebody that you work with or somebody that you know through friends I feel like this person is definitely asking about you I just this this decisive focus is like your person they want you and it's like they're not gonna stop Okay, you will be getting a message or some sort of communication from this person. For some of you, you may have even blocked this person um, or you might have just sort of shut them down. I do feel like they're going to be very persistent, but up to a point. Okay, so don't take, um, you know, if this is somebody or something that you want, you know, don't take that for granted is the message I just kind of keep getting here, Libra. This person is on your path for a reason. This is destiny. We see that with the wheel coming forward, your spirit guides, your angels. Again, what I was picking up in the beginning beginning here is it's like, yes, okay, they're finally getting together or they finally met each other. We finally got them to be in the same place at the same time type energy. All right. So I love that energy for you. You're definitely supported and guided. You're being, you, you are manifesting this. Okay. And, and look at that stability so that we get three fours coming out libra four 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 is going to be a powerful number sequence for you guys i do feel like this is your divine masculine or your divine feminine that you're calling in um this person wants you and they want it all with you okay that might seem a little bit daunting so you might have to you know again you want to take things slow you want to do things right don't let this person rush you but i feel like you know libra they absolutely they want you they want it all with you this is a divine connection. Um, Archangel Uriel, the seventh chakra comes in. Look at that. We get from the base to the seventh chakra. <laughs> what I'm getting here is this person can provide you stability. This person wants to give you their everything, Libra. This is a, this is a connection that even if you tried, um, it would somehow you were meant to meet this person. Okay. I feel like the spirit realms, spirit guides, angels, every, everything is putting you on each other's path. You're going to feel the connection immediately. Um, this person is going to reach out. They might even tell you that they think that you're their soulmate or their twin flame. Um, again, I feel like this person is not going to stop at anything, Libra. I really do. Although, I mean, again, be careful. When, with that said, the caveat is, you know, they will stop eventually if you always reject them. And you have that, you have that, you have that free will. Okay, so you you want to take things slow. You want to build a strong foundation. That's what I'm getting. But I feel like this person also wants the same thing. They might be very masculine is what I'm getting. They might be very masculine. They're, they're going to want to come in and take the lead. Okay, um, some of you, you may like that. Others of you, you might sort of say, hey, hey, put on the brakes. Okay, but I do feel this person wants to offer you stability. You could also find this connection to be very healing, whether you're healing this connection with them, they're coming in to express regret or, um, you know, again, this is the stability that you've been looking for. Okay. 
All right, so let's see what messages they could say to you. Our connection still affects me. Okay, so again, for some of you, this is a past life connection. Um, and it's almost like I said, I've been looking everywhere for you, Libra. Even if you don't know this person, maybe some of you guys have a history with this person. I just wasn't ready for you. Again, it could have been somebody that wasn't quite ready for commitment. They may have come in as sort of that, that Knight of Wands energy, kind of in and out. But again, they went, they built themselves up. Um, now they know what they want. And it's you, right? How could you still love me after all I've done? Okay, so for some of you, they are going to be coming in to ask for forgiveness. Okay, um, I've looked you up online to see what you've been up to. Yeah, this person has definitely been um, <laughs> stalking, but not in a creepy way. And you guys definitely, you know, if you're thinking about this person and you know them or, you know, you're meeting in the dream space again, you guys are very connected in the 5D. Okay, so we get decision. It's time to decide about this relationship, Libra. I don't know if I've called you guys Virgo. If I have, I do apologize. I know I'm in the Libra reading. I just, I feel like I've maybe have called you Virgo. I'm not sure. Um, and there may be something in the Virgo reading for you. Yeah, you need to make a decision here about this person. This person may be calling you, asking you to make a decision. Put away the computer. Working less will help strengthen your relationship. Okay. So again, this could be a workplace situation. Um, some of my Libras out there, again, you know, you might be spending a lot of time on your own. Your friends might be asking you to go out. I suggest you do if, you know, within reason or if you feel safe. And we get denial. Detach with love to clearly see the truth. So we did get that Queen of Swords energy in the background. I mean, in the blocking position for you. Um, you know, I do feel like you, you could have rejected or denied this person in the past, maybe even more than once. I do feel like they won't give up, but they do have a limit. I also feel like it's important that if you guys have something between you guys, it's very important if you decide, you need to decide whether or not this is something that you can heal or you can leave in the past or if you can't. Because Libra, if you can't, if it throws you off balance, if you're very guarded, if you don't feel like you can trust this person, again, you may have to send them packing, all right? So it's really gonna be up to you. We get play hard, find time to goof off and enjoy each other. So both of you um, might have tendencies to work overwork. I do feel like work is important here. Okay. Like as in you guys met at work. Um, okay. So, so express your love. So with that a angel Gabriel energy, this person is going to make some sort of romantic gesture. They may already be telling you how much they love you. They might be very direct and I'm getting kind of like Aries energy off of them. They might be very direct in the way they talk to you. You may like that. You may not. Okay. It might be off putting for you at first. Um, keep an open mind. Yeah, because I do feel like this person is very different from you. Um, I, cause I, you know, my Libras out there, you guys are very classy and very couth and, you know, very sort of refined energy. You know, I've say this a lot, but I've never met a Libra who didn't have like the most amazing music collection or likes going to museums or appreciates art and just like fashion. So what I'm seeing here is this person might be a little bit rougher around the edges is what I'm getting. They might be very direct with their communication, Okay. And calling in your soulmate, but yeah, this, I feel like this is them and you because we get that energy of manifestation in this reading coming through very strong, whether you know it or not, you've been manifesting this Libra. This person has absolutely been calling you and they might've even been calling you. Some of you might have this person blocked or on red is what I'm getting. All right. So let's see what, what's happening here. So we get the past is now behind you release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is available to you. Follow it with faith. All right, so apply that to your situation. Soulmate coming through really strong, okay? Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. So I this the energy of manifestation, Libra, this person is absolutely manifesting you. But I also, I feel like you are too. Yeah, I feel like you're manifesting this. Um, and if you are going to reject this person, if you're like, absolutely not, this person put me in a third party situation, they hurt me. Spirit saying either way, you're calling in your divine masculine, your emperor or your divine 
feminine, right? Um, it's faded and you, and you know, you're healing and clearing this and you're opening up the path or the doors to call this person in and Libras, a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Um, enjoy it. Yeah. There's somebody is just thinks you are the bees knees Libra. You're also manifesting miracles. So again, more energy of manifestation. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow it with guidance. Yes, Libra, trust your heart on this one. Somebody's coming forward. They're going to tell you they want you. They want to give you everything. The decision is yours. Okay. I love this energy for you. Sending you lots of love and light, Libra. Take care.